Welcome back to our sister's house crash. We're still here, still here. And right now we're tackling her pantry doors. She's got the standard pantry doors. And one question we always get asked is, how do I replace a standard door with a barn door? We thought this was a perfect example of a great space to do that because she's got enough existing space on this side to move the door. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. It's screaming for a barn door. It is, and Ashley has this really awesome plan to not only make one that fits this space custom, but it's not gonna weigh a lot and it's not gonna cost a lot of money. And the hardware is really cute and really inexpensive. So let's get to building the barn let's door. Go. All right, so do you wanna take the doors off the hinges? Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll build. Alrighty. All right, so all you need to build this is some one by twos, a one by four, two sheets of quarter inch plywood, some pocket hole screws, and some wood glue. We're also gonna face it with this barn wood, driftwood that we used on the backsplash. But you can use any quarter inch facing that you want. We just thought it would look really good. First step is to build the frame of our door and we want it to be thin so that it can be very lightweight. So I'm gonna start with a one by four up here and we're doing a one by four at the top because we need a space for the barn door hardware to drill into, to attach it. And if we did one by two up there, there wouldn't be enough. All right, so I'm gonna put a one by two at the end of each of these one by four headers and footers and I'm attaching with wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. And we do get the question, do I have to remove the door frame? Honestly, you don't. If you feel like your door, door trim looks good, we are actually gonna take the hinges off of the casing and we're going to fill it with wood putty and repaint. We're not doing that, I'm doing that actually. <laughs> And another thing, guys, if you don't like your trim, a really good replacement for a basic trim is just one by four. So you can pull your existing trim off and use one by four because we're actually gonna use one by six above this to brace the hardware. So one by four, one by six will blend with each other and it'll give you a really pretty look. And we are actually building the barn door so that it's wide enough to cover the door trim. All right, and you can eyeball these. You don't have to do them exact. You can download the plans on our website. They're free. We will link in the description box below so that you can get the exact measurements. You're not gonna see these one by twos at all. They're gonna be covered, so just eyeball it. Now I'm moving down to the bottom footer of the frame, and I'm gonna attach it the exact same way, wood glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. So basically what I'm doing is building a hollow core door. And the reason why is because those only come in standard sizes at your hardware store and that standard size will not fit on her door opening. Okay, this part's done. We've got our frame. Now it's time to attach the quarter inch plywood on the front and the back side. While Whitney's getting our quarter inch trim, I'm gonna add the wood glue. And now we are gonna lay down our first piece of quarter inch plywood this is all gonna get covered anyway, so just I'll pick whichever side you want. Dodge the beautiful chandelier and line it up. We actually cut the quarter inch a little bit shorter because we're gonna be trimming this whole thing out anyway and you'll never see it. Okay, so now we're gonna flip it over. Now, we don't wanna leave it like this because it just looks ugly. You're not gonna see it, but it just doesn't look like a door. Now we're gonna add wood glue again to here and follow the exact same step with the quarter inch. Now the fun part, we get to add the planks. And these planks are gonna be really easy because we've already cut them to size. They are tongue and groove so that we can just lay it down and glue it. All right, Ash, you go get the measurements and cut these trim pieces, and I'll go ahead and finish this up. All right. I am getting the measurement for the trim that we're gonna put on the side and the top and bottom because this edge is rough right here, and we're gonna hide that with some one by two. Okay, so on this last piece, we're gonna have to make a rip cut of one of these, so I'm just gonna take a scrap piece and lock it in place where Ashley can take it to the table saw and get our exact measurement. Now, we'll go take a cut and get that exact measurement on the table saw. So, because we cut this quarter inch just a little bit shy to make sure it fit, we're just making a few little spacers and then we'll add our last piece. 
We're going to push this in place and pop a few nails in. Pop it like it's hot. Always. Planks are done. Now we're going to add that trim. So this is where we've got the rough edges and we're just going to add a line of wood glue. A glob. That's a glob. technically a glob. Okay, we're going to make this one by two flush with this front. All right, we've got the side trim done and the top trim you're going to measure and cut to fit and it's going to go flush with the both outside pieces of trim. Okay, this side's done. Last side, we'll move to the bottom. Same exact thing, measuring and cutting to fit. Last, Last nail. nail. Oh, uh, I think before we add the hardware, we should stand this sucker up and look how cute it's going to be. Ugly pantry door no more. The trim's gone, just like that. <laughs> so at this point, we're gonna pull out our hardware, figure out where this needs to be hung, and get it in place. All right, well, we are getting ready to hang this beautiful barn door, and we've got to get our studs marked for this hardware. That door's heavy, we've got kiddos running around, so we want it to be safe. So I am marking those studs to make sure it stays on the wall. Whitney's looking for studs. I am looking for studs. I always manage to find them. <laughs> so I have marked studs for this header. This is just a one by six primed pine board to make it easier when she paints. I'm using big old screws for this. And I'm gonna put them towards the top because our hardware is gonna be a little bit lower. I am filling these screw holes with wood filler, and this is our favorite wood filler. We will link to it in the description box below. It goes on pink, and when it's dry, it looks like wood color. So we've got our hardware on the wall, and now we've got to hang it on the door. We've already measured, and we're going to attach them with wood screws. We got the hardware on. We're going to get this door in place, hopefully. We'll see if it works. If Ashley's math works. This is always the scary it part. It is. Oh, Guys. What? Shut the barn door. This is so cute. And it was so easy. Thank you. And look how much character we added to this house with one fairly simple project. And it's not heavy. That's right. It was and easy to build. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to fit an awkward space. Everybody has custom different sized doors. This is your solution. It's a piece of art on the wall, but it's also serving a function. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more awesome videos like this. Shaney out. Four. Help! I'm out of here. Peace out. I want to go. Don't let it go. <laughs> no stop. You almost it I'm gonna try to go too. We want you to tag us in pictures, and so we can. Okay. That's okay, just do it again. So tired. No sweat. And that's it guys, just a couple of hours. What do I say? I'll talk. <laughs>